Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6 with Lone Debater 7. And today we are going to be going through easy difficulty on Lotus Island for another 75 cash. And we will most likely hit level 20. Um, so I'm pretty excited for this run. I think we are going to do a Buccaneer right here because that should be pretty good for us. You can hit most of them as they come around the little track. Um... Well, I can't afford one of those. But once I can afford a sniper, we're probably going to put a sniper like right in the middle, is what I'm thinking. Because I am ai th believe that will give him pretty good range. Like, yeah, he can see the entire map from here. So if I put a sniper right there, then we can build a submarine and get that enhanced eyesight or whatever the upgrade is called. It's the second tier in the first line or whatever. Um, and then this sub will be able to hit everything on the map as well which will be pretty good um i do want to get faster shooting and then we'll do crow's net crow's nest after um on this one i think we're going to do similar to what we did last time where we do full metal jacket faster firing um but i also might well let's place the sub down first i think so we'll put him right there uh, we can upgrade t to Twin Guns and Air Burst. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and start that. And I do need Advanced Intel as the upgrade. 425 and then this guy will be able to hit everything on the map as well. So that'll be pretty strong for us because we will have literally everything covered with three turrets. Um, realistically, I could just do a sub and this uh, sniper and have the same thing. So you could potentially do this map with only two turrets. I don't know. Um, just kind of depends a little bit. But almost have the 425 we need. There we go. Now this homie can hit everything. So he does, it does appear that the structures do obstruct for him. So that is a shame. But whatever. He can still hit most everything on the map which feels pretty good honestly um now i don't know if i want to do these barb darts or twin guns instead like split into three on impact or lead and frozen we'll probably do i kind of want to try out the twin gun upgrade honestly so we'll probably do that give it a try anyway 340 to upgrade that 295 for that so I think we'll probably upgrade this one for the camos next. Just, I think that's going to be the best use of our cash, honestly. So there we go. And we could honestly make this a merchant man ship. Um, oh, I can buy both of those. Cool. We'll buy both then. Just because having the extra cash would be nice, then I can upgrade this faster. If I give this one night vision goggles and the semi-auto, like, it should be able to destroy most everything pretty quickly. Um, and it'll be able to target the camo balloons, which is important. So I think we will do that this time around. Uh, these sniper monkeys are pretty strong turrets, all things considered. So there we go. Let's start upgrading all these homies, more or less. So we need 850 for that one. This one we can do now. And we'll do 380 for shrapnel next, probably. There we go. It's only 425 for the faster shooting on our uh, Buccaneer sh uh, turret or whatever. So we'll probably do that. Um, this one does have an upgrade available. So we can get fully automatic. So I am curious to see how that works, honestly. Um, because that, like the semi-auto alone is feels pretty damn powerful. So I got to believe fully auto is just like nopes, everything that comes through. And since this can target camos as well, like it'll just chew through everything on the map more or less. Um, I do want to make a merchant ship this time um, with this buccaneer dude that's chilling right here. Uh, so, yeah, that way we generate a little bit of extra money, more or less. 
So this one is upgraded with air burst now. That's pretty good, I think. So it does a little bit more damage. Um, oh, we can upgrade him again. Cool. Submerge and support. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this permanently reveals camos in its radius. So, huh. Okay. I think we might try that and see. Because, oh, okay. It is just the little circle around him. That's a shame. I was going to say, if it applied to his whole like map coverage or whatever that'd be pretty powerful but it doesn't appear that's how it works so that's okay i guess i mean it'd be cool if it applied to his whole range but whatever i think i will just build one of these homies back here just so he can get some xp and we can unlock some upgrades for him um it's not a bit i've said it several times before it's not a bad idea to do that um oh we need something that can break those okay there we go we hit level 20 we got the druid turret unlocked that's cool put him up here um i'm pretty yeah they do get xp as they go so um i guess we will go that an extra range maybe So we can upgrade one of these, so larger potions, faster throwing, stronger acid. I think we'll go stronger acid. Oh, those are like little stun. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. But I do want to get the merchant ship upgrade next, probably. Um... I think that's maybe the best use of our money. It's a thousand coins cheaper than the semi-auto upgrade for this guy, and then we'll be getting an additional 200 coins every round. Um, we only have eight left, so I mean, that's only, what, 1,600 or something, but. And honestly, I'm going to sell this so we can buy it now. Okay, so we got a merchant ship. That's fun. Um, if nothing else. So we also can do larger potions for this guy, I suppose. Cool. They're doing their thing. Not a big deal. I mean, these towers are handling pretty well. Like, what I should have done is, as opposed to making this one target camo, is made it so it could damage the lead balloons. Or made it so this one could damage leads. But that is a A-OK. -okay. Um, get triple guns unlocked, I suppose. We almost have enough for semi-auto. Uh, seven, like, we'll get that pretty much right at the beginning. There we go. So it's 4,000 for the fully auto rifle, which... I have a feeling if we, you know, get that upgrade unlocked, we literally could just have this one turret and we'd be fine, with the exception of the lead balloons that come through. Um, but everything else, I think that one turret would be able to handle. Cool. Easy peasy. I mean, basically, this guy deals with everything except for the leads, and that's about it. Um, cool. So, I mean, if you're looking to try to do it with a small amount of turrets, definitely go for the Sniper Monkey with fully or full auto rifle would be my suggestion. And then you could throw down, like, a bomb shooter up at the start just to pop the leads as they come through, and that... I have a feeling would work fairly well at dealing with everything. Um, but there we go. Easy victory done. Six towers place, so that is not too bad. Um, but yeah, anyway, we got that island map. So what is it called? Lotus Island done on easy difficulty. Nice. We did hit 20, almost 21, so we can look inside here. So if we get another like half million pops, 
uh, we will unlock the gunner guy, I guess. So there's this dude, which has events. So there are events um, inside of here. So there's Odyssey, which is how you get the trophies, which is one of the currencies. You've got a daily challenge. Um, I think these are co opt This is to go through and create your own challenges. Um, there's this collection event. Earn rewards by clearing maps, I think, is what you got to do. So that's not too bad. I mean, we've got 5 out of 20, so we just have to do 20 maps and we'll be good. Um, on that, anyway. The rest, I think that guy just has the, like, whatchamacallit, because... Um, oh, we need to log in real quick. I'll log in with Steam. That way we can do these. Um, go with Steam. Cool. This device, because I don't want to update the progress, we can kind of progress at the same rate. But, like, if you go to Odyssey, these are, like, linked maps and challenges with the trophy rewards, stuff like that. So you have lives across this entire, like, progression to get to the end here, I think. Um, you're also locked in on what turrets you can bring. Um, so I would suggest waiting until you have at least every type of turret unlocked before you start doing this, just so you have all your resources available. Um, but those can be pretty good. So that button just takes you straight into the Odyssey. This one takes you into that hidden crate, so cool. But anyway, guys, I think we are going to call it here for today. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.